So, how can we reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and also reduce our carbon footprint? Well, at Trinity, they think they've got the answer to this burning question in the form of bioethanol. Now for the history lesson. First generation biofuels were pioneered in Brazil, where dedicated crops such as corn and sugarcane used as a starting material for yeast fermentation. However successful this process was, required vast amounts of land. So how can a small country like Ireland adopt and revolutionise this process? Back to Dublin. Here at the Moyne Institute at Trinity University, they're looking at the third generation of biofuels, in which bioethanol is produced cheaply and often from waste material. Here's William Kritschka to explain more. Here at the Labs at Trinity, I'm looking to simplify and to make bioethanol production cheaper in two ways. First, by looking to use waste material instead of dedicated crops as starting material. And second, by looking to combine various stages within bioethanol processing to make it cheaper. Bioethanol production is made up of five main stages. I'm looking to combine these stages by expressing enzymes within brewery yeast which are known to have a high ethanol yield. And hopefully through this I'll make bioethanol economically viable and cheap and available to the masses. So here at Trinity they're looking to combine science with an Irish favourite pastime of drinking and they're looking to revolutionise and make Ireland a world leader in the bioethanol production field. 